So inside the box we got three time M dot to and uh, this MSI logo uh, one chop sticker manual this is stuff <coughs> this is the manual and uh, yeah this should be the driver and the USB stick very often oh no this is the brush that you cleaning your motherboard I never saw this on any other motherboard and yeah, this is the USB with all of the driver and two a screwdriver for M.2 Plus and yeah. Um, yeah, this is something really different and awesome. Mini display port to display port. I got the two times of this cable. Um, oh, there is only one of this. No. So you got only one time of this cable, it should be two time, but uh, it is an I don't know on which reason, but it should be two time. And this is a USB, uh, oh no, this is the phone panel audio connector extension, um, two time one time angry solder and one time straight solder cable here also one time angry and one time straight so four time solder cable and uh, uh, this is the ARGB connector to 3 pin and this is the Wi-Fi 6E antenna and Bluetooth 5.2 uh, yeah I get 5.2 yeah this is the latest Bluetooth so and this is magnet this is also their stand Yeah, it is magnet, really awesome. It's a little bit huge, it doesn't look really good. And here we got the Movo itself. This is a really small little tiny But uh, that is an awesome board So We got a fan here And <coughs> Yeah uh, Rare oil shield uh, the Back shield, back shield I really like that you can plug the second M.2 here on the back uh, uh, so from the top GSMB1 uh, I don't know for what kind of use is this uh, either an 8 pin CPU power connector um, a great heatsink uh, 3 pin addressable RGB connector either ARGB two-time PWM and uh, this on for what kind of use is this uh, connector here and 24 pin 
power connector and USB 3 connector and this is USB uh, 4 times SATA uh, 6 gig SATA 3 USB 3.2 Gen 2.2 Type C and front panel connector the front panel is uh, on the manual uh, this two reset switch HDD LED the top two uh, power LED plus minus power switch plus and minus so here this uh, two HDD LED and this two reset switch this is reserved you don't need to do anything with that the two top one is uh, power LED next to that the uh, power switch first plus and second minus as always um, this is a uh, you see this is a uh, TPM you don't need it at all and here in a really bad place almost you got 4 pin PWM connector again um, this is front panel connector next to that you got another either uh, is GDP I don't know for what kind of use is that mm, two time uh, mm, uh, uh, RAM DDR5 RAM slot uh, 64 gigabyte maximum and this is the Z690 the LJ700 uh, socket you don't shoot you don't touch there yeah ah, shit so oh. on the back top uh, clear some button uh, HDMI and display port that's supporting 4k 6 dev the display port uh, is 1.4 version and HDMI 2.1 awesome uh, 4 time USB type A they are USB 3.2 gen 1 5 gig and 2 time USB 3.2 the red uh, 3.2 gen 2 10 gig then go with uh, per second uh, LAN uh, 2.5 gig and Wi-Fi and uh, Bluetooth uh, antenna connector, uh, Wi-Fi 6A, Bluetooth 5.2 and two time uh, uh, Thunderbolt uh, 4 connector, those are awesome uh, they are USB 3.2 Gen 2 by 2 40 gig uh, and uh, two time uh, mini DP in display now that uh, comes uh, from your GPU or this cable that is in the box and goes to here goes here and uh, you can uh, get signal with the uh, Thunderbolt uh, 4 and, uh, uh, Thunderbolt cable, if you didn't saw any Thunderbolt cable, I got one here So So this is the Thunderbolt cable um, This is also another one This is really a small one You see This is a uh, 40 gig this is also it's very tiny for some specific stuff so you plug this one here and uh, this side goes to your uh, display and it support uh, 8k also or I'll show you another trick and then the simple you plug uh, this cable here if you got uh, 
Intel uh, 12 generation CPU with iGPU in and uh, you don't have any graphic card GPU so you can use uh, you can still use the Thunderbolt mm, uh, yeah but uh, the thing is this that uh, you don't have two time display port so you can buy one of this cable that this side be this is the, the side that is uh, uh, DP normal DP this side be HDMI high speed or ultra high, high speed would be awesome and this side be mini DP and you plug uh, uh, this side again here and this side that should be HDMI 2.1 you plug in here uh, yeah and uh, you can get a uh, two ton uh, thunderbolt connector for to display uh, this is a very simple uh, um, basic uh, trick here you got some audio connectivity and one thing about the RAM uh, I searched it they supporting up to uh, 6800 megahertz and there is no any information on MSI uh, website about the uh, M.2 information they just wrote two times of them are Gen 4 one time of them is Gen 3 but I'm not sure either this one is uh, uh, Gen 3 or the one that uh, is on the top really hard or this one uh, on, on, uh, on this one this is both sides and that two so it is not really clear and uh, yeah so I can quickly open the heat thing that uh, you see under the heat thing too. So I totally open it the uh, board and here you see this is the chipset and this is the oh, this is the heat thing of chipset that help to cool your M.2 also. Uh, because this light is a uh, thermal paste and uh, rain thermal paste for your um, M.2 and, uh, and this is the back of the board and uh, this is the railway itself um, And uh, so it's, uh, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So uh, twelve uh, power stages, power stages, and. Uh, else to go here uh, one thing uh, about this uh, this uh, uh, you see here from here this Thunderbolt uh, uh, connector this is a tiny board that you plug it in and you, you can also plug it out you, or change it is uh, like uh, like a Wi-Fi card, uh, yeah, something like that. Really. And it got a connector this side also, like the M.2s. And, and this is the board pipe, hit pipe with the heat sink. And here is the fan, this is really tiny. <laughs> really cute. Mm. 
fan i Thailand fan so don't worry about that and it's really helps to cool uh, this arrow I don't believe I don't think so but on um, MSI website wrote something like that so it's non-RGB non-RGB I do not think this arrow is RGB no on this port is no any RGB and the looks and design is really classic like a uh, creator board or uh, a workstation or something not really gaming looks the only cool looks is this dragon here this baby dragon here and uh, yeah so uh, yeah nothing else and uh, if you guys found out uh, which M.2 is Gen 3 and which one is Gen 4 which one goes well uh, which is CPU and which is for the chipset let me know in comment if you got uh, and got any um, any question something you can ask and this is the BIOS battery also I didn't show you this is the BIOS battery and yeah and the RAM also uh, uh, this port support also up to 64 gig RAM DDR5 as I just uh, as I test it and now so to the lead this is a really great port for i7 so I got i5 going with i5 or even i9 so this is the Thunderbolt cable so if your uh, monitor support uh, uh, in type C so you can get uh, Thunderbolt connectivity and uh, higher quality speed in transferring file also you can use this Thunderbolt uh, uh, connector so it's uh, really awesome but I don't really know why is only one uh, mini dp2 normal dp cable inside the box there should be two and there is also no any information about this one this cable or either is two two of this or one so i it's supposed to be two times of this cable is really sucks that you don't have any information about the stuff that is inside on manual this stuff also I didn't see anything about these things here so uh, this is the rear back plate yeah it looks to be aluminium here yeah, this is good so if you guys did enjoy this video subs like maybe comment yeah that's also would be great and uh, any question also leave a comment or answer it asap and yeah that's it